It's simply heartbreaking to lose someone you love. The pain of not being able to interact with them, feel their existence, or just see them doing their foolishness in front of your very own eyes is something unexplainable and no one wants to go through it. When someone very dear to you passes away, your world becomes numb and it takes a really long time to get over the sadness or even accept the reality. To do that, people try out dozens of things to get a hold of themselves and cope with these difficult circumstances, just like what this couple did daily after going through a nightmare. Jacob and Tashana Armstrong's world fell apart as soon as the doctors informed them about their newborn's demise. The departure of their son, who just entered the world a few minutes ago, left them completely devastated. Imagine what a mother would go through after carrying a child in her womb for nine months, only to welcome a soulless body to the world. Heartbreaking. Wiping the tears, gulping in the sorrow, and accepting the Lord's verdict, the couple embraced their little one and left the hospital in sheer sadness. The Armstrongs buried their infant son, McCade, in a cemetery in Oklahoma and paid frequent visits to his grave. Although life didn't allow them to build that parent-child bond with their baby boy McCade, they were still determined to treasure the beautiful relationship. The couple decorated their son's grave with sentimental item, anything that they would have given to their son as a gift if he had lived long enough. Most items included small toys, colorful pinwheels, or simply anything that a baby would love to have. These items, although very ordinary, had significant value to them. This pinwheel doesn't mean a whole lot to the next person, but it does mean a lot to the person who placed it there, Tashana told Inside Edition. While the couple was trying their best to move on from the tragedy, they noticed something unusual every time they visited the gravesite. Most of you must be wondering if this something unusual might be related to spirits and paranormal activities. Well, no, it's not. Instead of strange movements or creepy noises, the couple discovered that some of the items that they placed in the memory of their son went missing. This happened once, then twice, and then it became a regular thing. Every time they brought something, it magically disappeared in their next visit. With time, it became apparent that someone was sneaking behind their backs and walking off with the item. But who was doing this? And why would somebody steal baby items that cost a mere dollar at Mac? Curious to know, yet extremely furious, the couple decided to take action and bring the thief to justice. The items meant a lot to them. It was a way of bonding with their buried son and show him their love. Jacob, the father, devised a plan that anonymous crook can't anticipate. He brought a hidden camera and placed it near the gravesite, inside the bushes so that no one could spot it. And guess what happened the next day? The couple came back and took the footage home. They watched it and what they saw left them utterly annoyed and frustrated. The camera recorded two people walking towards McCade's grave and circling around it. At least one of them was there for obvious reason. However, Jacob and Tashana were disappointed since the camera was only able to record the feet and not the faces. The couple knew that they had more work to do because they weren't going to let anyone mess with their sentiments and get away with it. The next day, Jacob made the exact same arrangement. However, this time, change was brought in the positioning of the camera. The camera was set perfectly to get a clear picture and record the thief from head to toe while he performs his dirty act, and so it did. The footage is revealed an old-aged man walking near the grave, casually plucking out one of the pinwheels and leaving as if nothing happened. The couple was shocked. They were not expecting a senior citizen to be behind the theft. On the other hand, they were also glad since they caught him in the act red-handed. With high hopes, they contacted the local police department where Jacob gave the hidden camera footage to Deputy Chief James Logsdon, who was very interested in the case because he could relate to it. Chief James Logsdon lost his baby sister who passed away at birth and was buried right near McKay. He understood the grief of the couple and was someone who realizes the worth of every missing pinwheel and the value it holds for them. It will be hard to find a more defenseless victim than someone who's buried out here, says Chief James Logsdon. He was more than happy to be at their service and solve the case for them. After releasing the video images to local newspapers, the cops were able to track down the person who turns out to be a 77-year-old man. He pledged guilty to his crime and was charged with petty larceny. The couple, although glad that the person behind these strange missings was caught, wanted to meet the old man in person so that they can explain to him why these feelings were hurtful for them. They were also looking forward to an apology, to which the old man obliged. He further told them that he doesn't know why he did it. I like pinwheels. Normally, I wouldn't do such a thing. Well, guys, stealing should be off limits no matter what, because you can never justify it. It's a crime, and it also harms the owners, something difficult to comprehend. It doesn't matter how petty the thing is. You can never estimate the amount of importance it has for someone. This story is an epitome of it.